Hey y'all, welcome back to LA Cat Customs for today. I'm doing the final assembly and setup of my rear axle in my C10. But before I finish that up, I'm gonna show y'all a really cool upgraded part to help y'all set the rear axle up better. Anybody that's heard the horror stories of trying to set up a rear axle, a lot of it comes to do with trying to set up a crush sleeve. So I'm gonna show y'all what the difference is between a crush sleeve and a crush sleeve eliminator kit and what it does, where it goes, and how to use it. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show y'all this neat little upgrade. So as you can see right here, this is the uh, pinion gear for my motive gears 410 axle ratio. And I got it set up like this to show you where the uh, crush sleeve rides and how everything works together on the pinion. So this is the uh, outer pinion bearing. And then you have the crush sleeve right here. And then you have the inner pinion bearing here. And then you can see the gear teeth for the uh, pinion head. And then the splines out here is where the yoke slides down on. And then the threads up here is for the pinion nut to torque everything down with. So this is what it looks up close. So when you set one of these axles up and you're using a crush sleeve to set your uh, pinion bearing preload, you actually leave the crush sleeve out of the equation while you're building, building the axle. Uh, until the final assembly. So you, you install the, the pinion and stuff and you leave the crush sleeve out of it. And then you set up your uh, pinion depth and then you set your, your backlash and get a good pattern. And on the final assembly, when you slide the uh, pinion into the housing, going th from the back into the front of the housing, then you slide the uh, crush sleeve in and then put the outer pinion bearing on. And then you have to uh, torque it down. And that's, that's how you set it up is you actually have to crush the crush sleeve down to uh, get your pinion bearing preload set and then you can continue doing the final assembly on your axle so uh that's what that's what a crush sleeve does and that's where it's located right here so now i'm going to show you the crush sleeve eliminator kit and how it how it works and uh how it replaces this to uh make for a, a much less troublesome setup on it so as you can see a crush sleeve just a thin a thin steel collar and you can see the raised spot on it that's, that's a, a weaker spot to allow it to crush itself down to the proper thickness so what you do is on the final assembly when you're torquing everything down is you, you keep applying the torque to the to the pinion nut until until you get the crush sleeve to crush down and then as it's crushing down you keep checking your pinion bearing preload and then once you get to the proper pinion bearing preload and then the crush sleeve is set the torque is set on your pinion nut and then that part of the axle is built and done and it's re ready to move on to the next step the downside is, is anybody that set one of these up has heard the horror stories of trying to crush one of these crush sleeves and having problems with it not trying, not being able to crush it. And then all of a sudden when it does crush, it crushes too far and you have to throw it away and start over. Or in a situation where you have to uh, replace a pinion seal on it, then you try to get back to the proper pinion bearing preload and, and all those kind of things. And it just really, really is a pain when you're trying to set one of these up. Um, but I've used them and then I've shot away from using them in the past. Uh, I've had a situation where on a Friday night I'm trying to build a rear axle to get ready for, for a big event and sure enough trying to crush a crush sleeve down and it won't crush and won't crush and all of a sudden bam it crushes too far. Pinion bearing preload won't set up right and this is junk and I don't have a spare to put in the rear axle so I missed the event. So I've shot away from using a crush sleeve in my own applications but a lot of people uh, use crush sleeves and stuff and for a situation where if you, if you can get down to the proper pinion bearing preload and not have a situation where you have to replace this, then it really just, they do, they do a good job. They do their job well. Um, sometimes people have problems with, uh, with, you know, hitting the rear end a certain way and stuff like that or a lot of shock loads can actually cause the crush sleeve to crush down and then you lose your, uh, pinion bearing preload and then the rear end starts howling and making all kind of other racket. Um, but that's kind of a rare occurrence and, and I mean people run all, all the time up and down the road with lots of horsepower and axles running a, a crush sleeve but uh, because of my experience I've kind of shot away from them and uh, I started using a crush sleeve eliminator kit so I'm going to show that to you now and uh, show you why what I use instead of this. So this is what a crush sleeve eliminator kit is and all it is is just a thick steel spacer like this. And then you have a thin little shim pack like this. And uh, that's all you, all it is, it just replaces the crush sleeve. And um, you use the shim pack to set your pinion bearing preload. You have to add or subtract the shims in order to get down to the proper pinion bearing preload. So 
once you get to the, the final assembly before you put the pinion seal in and once you get your uh, pinion depth set and a backlash and get a good pattern and, and you're ready to start the final assembly um, then you put put this kit in and then you set the pinion bearing preload and it takes a very very minute uh, change in the shim thickness to get to the proper pinion bearing preload uh, it's within one to two thousandth to get down to the proper pinion bearing preload on it so it can be kind of kind of aggravating going you know like on my, my setup i have had between a, a 0.049 to 0.046 was where i was working with to go from from zero uh pinion bearing preload all the way up to 28 inch pounds of preload on it so i had to had to work a couple times to, to get to the proper pinion bearing preload on it so it takes a couple couple different tries and changing the uh, shim stack out trying to get to the the right thickness but once you get to the right thickness on it and everything works out and you get to the the proper pinion bearing preload and then you just pull it apart put the pinion seal in it and get ready for final assembly and then instead of having to crush the crush sleeve down this thing here is already set and then you just bolt everything together you torque the pinion nut down to, to whatever uh torque that your axle is set to um, when using one of these you torque the pinion nut down check your pinion bearing preload and if it's within spec, then bam, you start building the whole rear axle from there. You check everything on your final final checks to, to check your axle out, make sure all your, your pinion depth and the pattern and everything looks good on it. So that's one of the good things about having the, the crush leaf limiter kit is it just removes the uh, the possibility of crushing the crush leaf too far. And also you won't really have to worry about if you're if you're hammering on an axle and really really raw dogging on it and beating, beating it real bad. You don't have to worry about the possibility of the crush leaf crushing down from the abuse and, and, and wrecking your pinion bearing preload. So it's one of the good things about this. Uh, the initial setup can be can be more of a pain and some people may shy away, away from it because of that. But I'll deal with the, the little added headache of trying to get the shim stack thickness right on it uh, to get my pinion bearing preload set and uh, going from there to build the, build the axle. So uh, that's what I like about this. So I'm about to dive into the final assembly of this rear axle, but before I do that, I wanted to show you all this short video uh, to show you all the difference between the crush sleeve and the crush sleeve limiter kit. So if you're interested in using a crush sleeve limiter kit, I bought this kit from uh, Summit Racing. Um, it's a Yukon brand kit. Um, it was like 30 something dollars for the kit. So it really isn't very expensive to, to buy one of these to use instead of using the crush sleeve. Um, the crush sleeve comes with a, with a uh, master rebuild kit stuff anyways. But if you wanted to use one of these, then you just go to go to Summit or any, anything, Jigs or whatever, and and you can buy one of these if, if uh, they make one for your axle. So uh, that's what I'm going to run. Uh, tune into my next video where I'm actually going to build this rear axle, and I'll show you the tools that you need to use to set your pinion bearing preload up with. And uh, I'm going to start building start building the rear axle in my next video. But uh, I want to show you all this neat little trick. So uh, y'all like and subscribe at the bottom of the page, and be sure to check out my next video where I actually stick my new parts in this housing.